Hello everyone, this is Sensuous One, and I'm here to show you a little tutorial of what I've done today with some of the butterflies, the Monarch butterflies, which are these here, from Diamond Dyes. This is the large set that I, um, I'll be working with. I figured it'd be easier to show on camera. So the first thing I did was I cut out three pieces for what I'm working on. I cut out one, um, just a plain white piece of the solid die, a black piece of the solid die, and one piece of black with the different cuts on it. Okay, and then I used my um, quickie glue pen because it has a fine point on it. And I'm trying to think, how did I start? I think I started from the bottom. So the way I have it layered is I started from the bottom with um with the black piece. And I'm going to attempt to do this through the camera. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So basically I just go around the edge, go over the antennas, and go, oops. And try to stay. I usually go around just the outer edge because that's where it's mostly solid. Because you don't want to get glue in the opening of where you're working at. So I do that, and then I layer on a white piece right on top of that one. Oh. Just like so. And then you do the same thing again with your quickie glue pen. Well, this is what I use. Around the outer edge again. How did I fix that one? It's kind of off. But, yes, this is very challenging. Like a third eye. Okay. All right. So let me cap this. And then you put your other piece on top of it. If I can get it to stick. Kind of hard to do it this way. All right, so I do that, making sure that the antennas are on top of each other. And this is the hardest part to me. It's a little tiny antennas. Okay, so this is what, what it's going to look like. Now I I did that. You don't have to do the black piece on the back. I did for visual purposes um, as far as what I'm going to use it for on my project. So that's the reason why I gave it three pieces, and plus it gives it um, a little more like structure, like you know, a little more body, I guess, to work with. Um, it won't feel so flimsy like it's going to tear on you. But this three pieces together is pretty sturdy. So that's what it looks like. Then you let that dry. Um, well, I'll go ahead and show you what I did to the other ones. And for this one, um, the ones I did, I colored them already. So I'll go ahead and color this one as well. I think I'm going to do this with um, orange and yellow. And after I do this one, I'll show you um, how the other ones turned out. So I'm going to take my orange and you pretty much just color it any way you want um, randomly.
because you know butterflies never have the same um, patterns on both sides. So I'll just keep going all the way around. And I'm going with some yellow. And I did miss a couple spots, but I'm not too worried about it right now for this because it's not going to be just a colored image. I'm um, actually going to put some stickles on top of this. So I'm going to use some orange stickles on the top. Now you could use just the um, stickles by itself. I tried that as well and it came out really pretty. So I'm going to go all the way around. With my stickles. And this color here is Let's see if it's called. I don't see a color on this one. And I got <laughs> ink all over my fingers. I do it every time. But it's this orange color. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the... Um, actually, I'm going to put this one over where the... Uh-oh. Where the other orange color is. The, um, the lighter shade of orange. That way you can still see the color and it'll just have, you know, like a little shimmer on top of it. Like that. And then I'll add some yellow. I think my yellow is about gone. It feels like it's in there. There it goes. Okay. And then for the center of my butterfly, I used some um some little tiny pearls that I have, which are right here. I'll open it up. It's like a little glare. But these pearls. <coughs> I'm going to adhere them down with some of this um, Elaine's Clear Tacky Glue. And I have some on this piece of paper next to me. And I just use my um, my stylus that I have here to add the glue to the center. And I just put some glue on here. And since my stylus is a little tacky already, I'll use it to pick up some pearls boy I can barely see that okay so I need one more so I put I'm not sure the size of these pearls but there's um they all want to stick <laughs> I put four on the big one all right so this is what my butterfly looks like and we'll put it to the side and let it dry and then I'll show you the ones that I did earlier I had so much fun working with these. I did some more in the glitter, like the ones I just showed you. And I also did some, um, just some solid color papers just to see how they would look with the pearls in the middle. So I did those shades of green. And then I did some smaller ones here. Came out really cute. I am so loving these dyes. They are awesome. And then this one here was done with Copics, and I used glossy accents on it. 
I did a couple different um, medias to see how that um, you know how they would turn out. Um, this one was colored with Copics and it just has the um, this color iridescent uh, stickles on top of it, so that the colors will still shine through. And then you can also take Copic markers and color the um, pearls if you only have white pearls. I like to buy white pearls because then I can color them as I need them. But for these, I just left them white. Since I've left white dots on the wings, it kind of, you know, pulls it all together. I have that one. And this one was also colored with Copics and the same um, stickles as the other one. And let's see, this one was left white, and I just used different color stickles on it. And then I have two more little ones. This one was done with the um, the liquid pearls, the Tim Holtz um, liquid pearls, or the Ranger liquid pearls. And this one was done with stickles as well. And like I said, I'm, I would recommend this dye to anyone. If you're looking for a great dye to cut butterflies, this is the one to get. Um, and I'll show you, like, what I have in mind is um, bending the wings up right along where the pearls are. Put them together and kind of pinching it a little bit right above where the pearls are. Once it's all dry, <laughs> can't do this while it's wet, but these have been drying for a while. So once it's dry, and it gives you that nice crease, and you can apply this to a project, and it'll look like the butterfly has, you know, is getting ready to take off. And that was the reason for me leaving the, um, the bottom side black and versus white. I thought that was really cute. And I so love the way these came out. Really awesome. And um, you know, like I said, all of them can do the same thing. They can all bend and put the wings together. Pinch it right above the beads, well above the pearls. And there you go. Super cute. So guys. That is it for my little tutorial and my little diamond dyes butterflies. I hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to go by their website and check them out. They're at www.diamonddyes.com and diamond is spelled D-I-E-M-O-N-D. I'll leave all the information down below in the description box. I thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.